Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is episode 277 of the world famous, the University of Love. Ladies and gentlemen, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. For you and I, we just call it Online Marketing and Moves, and we are coming to you live today from the rainy and chilly city of Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on these days, but <clears throat> it is almost the middle of May, and We've been getting a lot of rain and kind of chilly weather, and it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. But, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about how big is your dream? How big is your goals? Ladies and gentlemen, let's make those dreams as big as possible. All right? Ladies and gentlemen. Let's say you want to make a million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, why not tell yourself, I want to make a hundred million dollars? You know, go for the gusto. Go for the gusto. Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, we have one life. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't know how long we are going to be on this earth. So while you're on this earth, ladies and gentlemen, go for the gusto. Go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? So. What is your goal? We talked about this yesterday. We talked about a singular focus, you know. I'll tell you my focus. My focus is making money, all right? My focus is to make money for my wife, my daughter, so we can, you know, fix up the house, build up the house, and take trips, you know. Wife wants to go on a trip. I'm fine with that. So. Singular focus is to make money. How do I do that? Podcasting, affiliate marketing, you know, doing doing the YouTube, all kinds of things. So now we have a focus. We have a goal. You know, we have this stuff written down. We are here. And we have cut we've trimmed the fat, trimmed off a lot of fat, cut out a lot of nonsensical conversations, a lot of TV watching, a lot of this, a lot of that. You know, it's it's ironclad, you know, got to have discipline, got to have patience, got to have a whole nine. So, ladies and gentlemen, for you, what is your goal and how big is it? Make it as big as possible. I just thought about this today. I said, you know, because I'm going to start, not I'm going to, but Tuesday, I will be starting up a sports podcast. I'm just going to load it up. Just Take a lot of notes this weekend, load it up, and we're gonna fire, we're gonna fire, fire away. You know, we're gonna get started with it. And I thought to myself, who knows what this could lead to? But I thought to myself, the radio. It would be so cool. And I said, you know what? That's gonna be a goal to get myself on the radio. All right. <laughs> you know, when it comes to sports talk. So I said, why not? You know, because that's big. It's big. Cause you as you well know. The bigger the goal, the harder you're going to work on it. You know what I mean? Like, why go? Because I thought to myself, you know, sometimes I talk, I'm talking to you. And then once I get done with the show, I'm thinking to myself, why am I limited? I'm limited myself. You know, we talked about this whole, you know, my wife said $10,000 a month. And I thought to myself, $10,000 a month. F that. You know, I'm going to make more than that. You know, like. Yeah, that sounds that sounds nice. Uh, Ten thousand dollars, blah 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 blah. blah. You know, but I thought to myself, why not shoot for more? And of course, I'm going to shoot for more. You know, ten thousand sounds good. Don't get me wrong. I'll be appreciative of that. And it's not about greed or anything like that. It's just why not? Why not dream big? Why not make your goals as big as possible? And then that way, when you're thinking about them, you aim, you aim and you aim high. You shoot shoot for the moon and no telling where you'll land. You know what I mean? So for you, pump pump those goals, pump those goals out. You know what I mean? You have a donut, you have a tire, you want inflating the tire. You you rode a bicycle before. You're pumping the tire and then like, don't pump it too much, it explode. Yeah, pump it up to the pump it up to the max, why don't you? All right. And ladies and gentlemen, before we get going, I want to ask you this. Are you spending enough time working on your business? 
Ladies and gentlemen, I, I have a suggestion for you. I don't know if you want to do it the last, the first hour was when you wake up or the last hour before you go to bed. But at some point, you need to dedicate a block of time to you and your business. And this is not about, this is not about your spouse. This is not about your children. This is about you. Because at the end of the day, yes, it benefits them. But at the end of the day, this is what you want. And if you are listening to this podcast, then you definitely are looking to change your life. Otherwise, you would not be listening to this podcast. So you want to make changes in your life. You want to do something for yourself. You want to do something for the greater good of you. And so and you we both know if you improve yourself, you will others around you will, will improve their lives as well. All right. So if you start making more money. Your family will improve. If you start, if you have more time to spend with your family, then the dynamic in your family will improve. All that kind of stuff. You know, the better you get, the better it helps other people get. All right. So I want you to make sure that you are spending one hour, two hours a day working on you. We all have the time. We have to make the time. Those those times you are tweeting, texting, doing whatever with other people, you could be working on your business. That's why we talked about this yesterday. We have to trim the fat, trim the fat, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Make sure you are doing that. Make sure you are, you know, cutting back, you know, those nonsensical, those nonsense conversations we used to have with people. You know what I'm talking about. You remember back when you were. 16, 17 years old, he would be on the phone with somebody and he'd just be like, hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I ain't doing nothing. What are you doing? I ain't doing nothing either. You know, you are an adult now. You are over the age of 18 if you're listening to this podcast. 21 more than likely. We don't want you listening. We don't want you having these nonsense conversations, you know. Eat anybody, you know. I love my brother, but I'm not going to sit on, my, on the phone with my brother and listen to him tell me about wrestling anymore. Get out of here, homeboy, okay? I have no time for that these days. I got to get going. So you need to trim the fat, all right? And uh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> before we get going, I will say this. I was <clears throat> My wife had me watch. I watched this show with my wife. This show was called Pose, all right? Pose is a show about the transgender community, which I didn't know very much about at all. I knew very, I knew nothing about. But we watched season one. Watched a few. I watched a few episodes of her, and I thought, you know what, this ain't a bad show. So I mean, so she had me watch um two, no, three episodes yesterday. First episode, season three, episode one. I thought was terrible. And then I, but then, you know, it got better. The next episode was pretty good. The next episode was pretty good. So. I tell you all this to say, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what you do, podcasts, videos, you know, blogging, whatever you do, I didn't like the episode one. Somebody else probably loved episode one. I liked episode two. Somebody else might might not have liked episode two. The point is, it doesn't matter what people think. Put out your content. Produce your content and take it from there. All right. Do what you think is best and put it out there in the world because people will like it and people will not like it. And it doesn't matter as long as you're putting it out there. You know what you know what I mean? If you like it, if you think it's good, put it out there. Everybody's opinion is going to be different. Everybody's not going to like everything that you do. And you're not going to like everything that everybody does. But that's just how the world works. All right. And if you haven't seen the show, it's a very interesting show. It also, because sometimes we get into the bubble of life where we just hang around like-minded people. And everybody's not the same. Everybody's not different. You know what I mean? And before, in my younger days, if you would have told me, hey, man, watch the show about the transgender community. I would have said, hey, man, I don't think so. You know what I mean? I would have said, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? But it's very interesting. And also, it makes you see the world in, in different perspective. And it's also kind of, you know, you feel bad for people because 
at the end of the day, we all want to be loved. You know what I mean? Like they one of the episodes, not to give it away, but one of the episodes they showed the the girl, the young lady, uh, when she was a uh, younger, and she was coming home. She was trying to sneak home, and her mom was basically like, "Hey, I I I birthed a boy. I wanted a, I want a boy. I don't want no girls in my house. Get out my house, you know." And threw her, threw her out, you know what I mean? And it's kind of sad that you can't be who you are, you know what I mean? Like, even though I'm never, I'm never going to understand, you know, how somebody wants to be, you know, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a man. So I don't really understand, you know, if you told me, Hey, dress up like a woman, I would tell you, nah, you know, like for what, why? But you know, it's not my, it's, that's another thing. It's not my place to understand how somebody else feels. You know, all I can do is say, Hey, this is how they feel. This is how they feel. But you know, it is what it is. But it's a pretty interesting show. If you never seen it, check it out. Um, and like I said, first episode I thought was terrible, but I, I, it made me think. I was like, hey, you know, some of these podcast episodes I do. Some people like them. Some people don't. It is what it is. You know, and that's for all of us. The one thing that we, the one thing that you and I have to get out. One thing that you have to get over is criticism. Like people are going to criticize. People are always going to say. People are always going to be negative. You could post a YouTube video. You could post a YouTube video. Once you get, you know, once you start getting more and more subscribers, you could post a YouTube video, and within two minutes, somebody hit the dislike button. It doesn't matter, like or dislike. Somebody hit. Somebody hit both. You know what I mean? So don't think about that kind of stuff whenever you are producing content. Just go for it. Go for what you know dream big big as you can dream big to where you dream big to where it, it it shakes you up a little bit you know what i mean like have big big dreams have big goals and go for them you know hey you might not you might not hit it right away you know you got to have patience you got to have patience all this is patience every day I, every day i'm telling you i do this podcast in, in the beginning, I thought, this ain't working. Nobody's listening. And then I remember one day, it was a few, it was quite a few episodes in. I was six weeks, eight months in, something like that. And one day I had like 200 downloads. And I thought to myself, I said, I said, shoot. I said, 200 downloads. I said, okay, now we're in business. All right. And that's just how it is. You know, you might don't get discouraged. Things are going to it takes patience. You know, you we're, you're producing something every day. You know, it's not, you know, you no, know, like I, like like we said before, no offense. No offense, but who knows who you are? Nobody knows you. You know what I mean? Like people don't people didn't know me before this podcast, you know. I'm still, you know, I don't have like a million downloads a day, you know, a million downloads a week. Of course not. But if we keep this going, if we keep this up, we get better and better. Then who knows where we'll land? You know what I mean? And so for you right now, nobody might, people might not know you, but eventually they will get to know you. <clears throat> and one reason why consistency, if you show up every day, put in the work, then people will say, hey. I like this guy. I like this. I like this young lady. I'll listen to him because they are here every day with me and giving me information. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, before we get going, <clears throat> I have discovered something on the anchor app that <laughs> you can do. You can leave a message if you would like. I highly suggest you do. If you want to comment about the show, you want to join the show in a, you know, contributing way, you can leave a message. And I will leave the link in this in the show notes. All right. Um, don't, you know, you know, say say your name and all that kind of jazz so we can know who you are. And if you have any questions, any comments, any topics that you would like to cover on the show, then by all means, leave that in the leave that in the message. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that's it. We'll be back tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.